It's the first ever known measurement of the size of the Earth. This was done around 240 BC by Eratosthenes, the chief librarian at the Library of Alexandria. Now he'd read about a well in the city of Syene, modern day Aswan, where on the summer solstice the sun shone right down to the bottom. So you could look into the well and see the sun's reflection off the water all the way at the bottom. Eratosthenes, he concluded that in Syene, the sun is directly overhead on the solstice. So he tried his own experiment. Looking at the shadow cast by a vertical rod on the summer solstice, he measured the angle at 1 50th of a full circle, or about 7 degrees. So the sun was at this angle from vertical, not directly overhead, but this was in Alexandria. He reasoned that this difference is due to the curvature of the Earth. So the circumference must be 50 times by the distance from Alexandria to Sai, which is about 800 kilometers south. Eratosthenes' answer was that the Earth's circumference is 250,000 stadia. But what even is a stadia? Unfortunately, no one today is quite sure how big that is. It's commonly suggested that it was correct to about anything from 1% up to about 10%. Anyway, dividing the circumference by 2 pi gives the radius of the Earth as the distance divided by the shadow's angle in radians. 